reduce the wild horse population in Grand Junction has reached its final steps using a more forceful and effective method. CARE 5 News reporter Camila Barco headed out to Cameo this morning to get a closer look at this process. It's something I've never seen before and had an opportunity to see it. Anna Elliott, a member of Friends of the Mustangs group, joined the Bureau of Land Management to make sure wild horses found a home. That's our goal. No horse left behind. <laughs> It's the final steps in trapping the remaining 33 horses using a helicopter leading the Mustangs to a trap. So this is an efficient and humane method we use to uh, get the horses. Um, this range has been gathered before. The Little Book Cliffs Wild Horse Range has seen a herd of 190 this year, an amount that exceeds the capacity by 40. So a certain number of horses that's appropriate for the forage that's out there and for the other uses that the BLM has to consider. In an effort to remove the overpopulation of wild horses that will improve conditions for not only the horses but the wildlife. The attempt started back in early September, luring them in with a time-consuming method. We put hay, weed-free hay and water out, and the horses um, went to that location. 27 horses were successfully removed from the range, but the BLM has a goal to remove a total of 60 Mustangs. The other horses um, that we're trying to remove now just didn't go to the bait traps. They were in remote, inaccessible locations. However, not every horse trapped will be getting adopted. The BLM will work um, to identify which horses um, are good to remove and which ones should stay on the range. While they are helping to combat the overpopulated area, wild horse advocates believe the helicopter method is harmful. The helicopter will not force the horses to go full speed for hours on end. Um, it is um, basically following the horses at, at a pace that they choose. The fact that they were in and no one was hurt, beautiful. Those chosen will be given food and water, checked out by a vet, vaccinated, and be available for adoption. First on the Western Slope, Camila Barco, CARIAX, 5 News. Great video, Camila. Thank you. Friends of the Mustang Group say they will have a meet and greet with the horses on November 2nd, followed by an adoption day on November 3rd at Rimrock Adventures. Today's helicopter method will continue for another 7 and 10 days.